Hey there, you saw the title. In this video, I'll show you deforum settings that can give you decent results almost every time. Of course, there will be exceptions. Not even a hand sanitizer can kill 100% of the germs. But don't worry, I'll also talk about the parameters you can tweak to make this work for the exceptions as well. These settings will literally save you hours of testing time. I have spent the last few weeks testing various combinations of control net and hybrid video with tons of different videos and I found this to be the best combination so far. Without wasting any more time, I'll jump right into it. For this video, I'm using Dream Shaper 8 checkpoint. Steps 15, 720 for weight and 1280 for height. In the keyframes tab, I have the strength schedule at 0 0.55, 4.5 for CFG and fixed seed. You don't need to change anything else here. And then you have to work on the prompt. For this video, I'm using Darth Vader LoRa and combining it with few other LoRa's to get a nice effect. In the init tab, you need to change the strength value to be same as the strength schedule in keyframes tab. This strength is used for the first frame of the video. From the second frame, it will use the strength schedule. In the video init, give the path for your video. Now comes the most important part of these settings. For control net, add tile for the first slot with no preprocessor, change the weight to 1.75 and end control step to 0.45. This means for each frame, tile is applied for only 45% of the frame. And select my prompt is more important. For the second slot, add temporal net again with no preprocessor, weight 1 and end schedule also 1. For this, select control net is more important and also check the loopback mode. As I said in the previous video, when you select loopback mode, the control net also takes previous frame as input. This helps in creating a smooth motion between the previous and current frame. For the last slot, select open pose, hit DW open pose full as preprocessor, wait 1 and end schedule 1. Select control net is more important for this. In the hybrid video tab, select before motion optical flow for hybrid motion, DIS medium for flow method and in the hybrid schedules, change the value of comp at first schedule to 0.65. The default value is 0.5. This value denotes how much of the previous frame is mixed into the current frame. Having a value lower than 1 allows it to generate new details as the animation progresses. And finally in the output, make sure the FPS is same as your video and select init video for the soundtrack. Now you may be wondering why are these settings screwed and how does this work most of the time? Well the control and combination and this hybrid schedules value are working together in a certain way to get good results. Let's see what the control and combinations are doing. Most of you probably know this. Open pose extracts the pose from the input frame. This makes sure that pose of the person in the generated frame doesn't deviate from the input video. Next we have temporal net. Temporal net reduces the flickering and tile keeps the originality of the video. So when you have control net is more important, it is very likely that you won't see much change in the video. That's why I have turned on prompt is more important for tile. With these settings, you'll surely get a stylized video with less or no flickering. You can simply load these settings, change the input video and prompt and run it to get great results. But like I said in the beginning, there can be exceptions and you may have to tweak some settings. So let's talk about that. If you're seeing a lot of change and you want to reduce the intensity of the style, then you can increase the strength schedule. But if you're not seeing much style and you want to increase the intensity, then you need to lower the value of strength schedule. I recommend a value between 0.4 and 0.7. This control and combination works very well for this range of strength schedule. If you're using a lot of floras like me, then it is possible that your animation introduces a lot of weird artifacts. So in that case, you need to reduce the CFG scale. When using a lot of LoRa's, I recommend keeping the CFG scale between 3 and 4.5. But if you're using very less number of LoRa's, then CFG can go up to 7.5. One more problem that can occur is that the animation is not following the input video properly. Maybe it's not following the hand properly or it introduces big faces or character in the background. To avoid that, you can increase the comp alpha schedule value. I recommend going up to 
You may also be wondering why I am using open pose instead of head. Using head with hybrid comp alpha schedule value less than 1 is somehow giving these weird details in the video. This doesn't happen every time, but I figured open pose works better with this combination. So that was the settings to get really great results like this. I will include a link to download these settings for free in the description. I will also include the links to the LoRa's and models used for these two styles. Let me know if these settings work for you or if you faced any problem in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video.